Hey guys and welcome to the vlog. Um, today I'm going to be jumping Cal. Cal is my five-year-old homebred horse so just a little background for those of you who are new to the vlogs. Um, uh, he was at a show last weekend and now it's Monday, I have a bank holiday so I'm going to ride him today because I have more time and everything to ride, um, school him and it's during the day which is nice whereas if I ride him during the week I have to drive home from university which is an hour away so I have to ride in the dark and everything so it's a bit horrible anyway that was a big tangent so today I'm going to be jumping kind of I think just some single fences and distances and using V poles to keep him nice and straight and to keep him thinking about jumping the fence quite round as opposed to flat. He is getting really, really good. It's just always good to um, keep on top of it and just keep training him to jump the best way he can. Um, so I'm going to set up some jumps now and then either my mum or dad are going to film me. Uh, he's out in the field at the moment, so I'm gonna have to get him in as well. And then I'm gonna video just grooming and tacking up and everything like that because I haven't been very good at videoing those kind of stuff lately. So, um, yes, expect some time lapses. Also, I can see here in front of me are two new chicks that I haven't showed you on the vlogs yet. So, we have uh, lots of hens, as I'm sure you guys know. And um, yeah, two eggs hatched, um, I think like three weeks ago now, but they're so, so tiny, and I'm gonna show you them now. So here are two little chicks and their mom. They're so cute, I can't cope. I really, really hope they're both hens, so we get to keep them. Um, but yeah, they're just the cutest little things ever. Look how cute! Oh my gosh. So I have some jumps set up now. Um, this will be the first, no, sorry, the distance will be first, so that's three strides. And then the whole way around to this oxer, which is very small because it's going to be my warm-up fence to start. And then over the water tray and a bending four strides to a vertical that you can't really see, but it's there. So I'm currently jumping 1 meter 10 with Cal and we are doing the um, Autumn League at a show nearby us called Mullingar Equestrian and next week is actually the final so I'm going to be vlogging the final, stay tuned. I'm currently in the lead by only by one point so I have to go clear next weekend. So that's why we're practicing distances, dog legs, everything that's hard on a course and then maybe on Thursday I'll just do a few little bounces just to keep his technique sharp and that and then hopefully we should be all set for Saturday so that is the goal so today I'll be jumping like 110 1 meter 115 um, they're a little bit lower to start and then I'll put them up once we've jumped around a little bit and figured out any little issues that we need to improve on so I think that's it I'm gonna go and get Cal now from the field and groom him and everything and I will see you when I'm catching him so there is Cal and Fiona in the distance. No, sorry. So there's Cal and Welbeck in the distance. Welbeck is on a break at the moment just because I don't have time to ride two horses while I'm at college. So she is just doing her own thing. We're thinking of putting her in full next year instead of selling her. It's all a bit up in the air, so I don't have any answers, but she's just enjoying her very relaxed life. Hello, Mr. Cal. Would you like a little treat? Yes, please. Would you like a little treat? Yes, please. You're a very good girl, aren't you? So they're both in their Mackey Ireland rugs. Cal has the neck on and a heavier one because he is clipped. And then Welbeck just has a lighter one just to keep her nice and warm in the winter and help keep weight on her. She can lose weight, but she definitely hasn't. She's very fat at the moment. Good boy, Cal. I'll get you in now. Now Cal's in the stable. I'm going to go get his tack and his grooming kit. Cal, hope so antisocial. Good boy. And get tacking him up.
So here I am just warming up Cal. Um, there really isn't much to say. I try to get him to work a little bit long and low to start. He was actually quite fresh this day and it took a little bit of time to get him to relax, but then he did. Um, his default is always just to curl his neck um, and not use the bait, the muscles in the base of his neck. So I've been working on trying to get him to stretch. Like here you can see he started to stretch down and engage those muscles. They're called the trapezius muscles, <laughs> I believe. So, um, yeah, it's what we're working on. Actually, I'm filming, I'm editing this a good few days after and I just wrote him today and he was so good. He really stretched down almost straight away. So we are definitely getting there seeing as he never used to want to stretch at all. Um, so yeah, uh, in the canter, he isn't so good at stretching. He has such a huge canter that I find, I think he just um, lacks a little bit of balance. So it's hard for him to stretch because he doesn't feel like he has the balance to drop his head. But as he gets more balance in the canter, this will come and he'll start to use his back a little bit better. Um, it's just trying to control his canter is the first step, really. <laughs> So here I now I'm just warming up over this little fence. Um, I just kind of jump it on both reins. Uh, he jumps quite big. He's um, happy to be jumping. Um, when I jump it this time, he kind of runs off afterwards because he is just having a ball. Um, well, that time actually it wasn't very dramatic, but this time, this is the time. He, um, I jump off a little bit of a longer stride so he gets to use himself a bit more and he says, yippee, that was great fun, let's go for a gallop. Um, but yeah, you see this theme kind of goes throughout this video. He is just really, really excited to be jumping and I kind of talk about it afterwards, um, after our ride, but he is such a lazy horse that I don't want to discourage it, but also it has to be within limits. Like that time was too much. I couldn't get him back at all. So I come around again, ask for a little bit of a closer stride so he has to use himself and then I'm able to get him back much quicker. So now I come around to do the course. This is attempt number one. Um, he jumps this very well, very um, careful again, um, giving it very a lot of height. Um, this fence he jumps very well, but you see turning to my uh, last line is a little bit of a struggle. So he's on the wrong leg, he does his flying change, but he doesn't really want to turn. He's like, what the heck? We've just been going around the outside the last like 16 times that we jumped. But he was really good to just jump that from almost a standstill. Um, I was very, very proud of him, but obviously that wasn't very good. Um, Unfortunately, I kind of, in the moment, I just pulled my left rein when really I should have used my outside rein and outside leg to push him over as opposed to pulling him with my inside rein. Um, so you can see that I come around again and I get him a little bit closer to this fence so I have a little bit more control and I really push using my outside leg. Obviously, it's easier because now he knows where he's going and he's like, okay, yeah, cool. I know where the jump is. Bring me to the jump. But um, that's how I should have ridden it. But you see, we find Ooh, these four strides yeah. really, really short. So now we've put up the, ju the jumps. Um, now I know what I need to do. I know I need to put lots of outside leg around the corner to the water tray. And I know I need to sit up quicker um, in order to get those four strides on the bending line. So I come around to this jump, get my three strides. He's very excited because again, the jumps are up. He's like, 
brilliant. It's just every time the jumps go up, he finds it really, really exciting, um, which is good. You know, I'm happy that he's happy that the jumps are going up, but it makes it a little bit hard to ride. Um, so here I just do a circle instead of fighting with him because it is pure freshness. So I do a little circle, line up for my water tray well, um, and I'm really concentrating on sitting up after I land um, so I can get the four strides. One, two, three, four. And you can see we get it much better um, because I set up a lot quicker. So now I go again, um, hoping to do the whole course without having to circle. Right now he's getting a little bit tired, so his jumps aren't as spectacular, but he's still jumping very well and he's still quite keen. And um, so I did the nice three strides there. I was finding it quite hard to get very straight to that very first fence. So it's something again, I need to work on coming to jumps off um, of a corner like that. But again, he gets his um, flying change. I really use my outside leg here, get in nice and close, sit up and the four strides come up perfectly for me. So I was really, really happy with that. I feel like he learned lots. So I'm just walking Cal off now. Um, we did some jumping. He was actually very good and bad. Um, so he was very good because he was very keen, jumping really, really careful and he felt really, really good. But um, he was a little bit too keen after the fences and was thinking that it might be fun to just gallop off with his head in the air. Woohoo! And like, I don't really mind him doing that too much within reason because he doesn't really gallop off. He's a very, very lazy horse. So any sort of enthusiasm that he displays towards jumping, I'm all for. Like, yes, I hope he enjoys it. But then the within reason part is because I do need to be able to turn to the next fence. I do need to be able to come down a distance. So the second last time I did it, he was a bit too enthusiastic and I had to take a circle before the water tray because there was just no way of me getting around to it. Um, but then the last time he was very, very sensible. So I was very happy with him then. And um, there was also another time where, yeah, it was again, he was just a bit too enthusiastic after the fence and I really struggled to turn back to the water tray. Um, he nearly, it was just like stopped, but I said, no, feck that, you know, you need, still need to jump it because he can't learn that if he just kind of gets all excited, he doesn't have to do anything. So I, he, I just still pointed him at it and he still jumped it and we came down the four strides. I think we actually got five though, in fairness, um, to the, to the last fence. So again, it's just, it's just, he's five, you know, he's a baby, you know, they're tight little turns and stuff and it's just all practice really. Um, so yeah, we were just having a bit of fun. He was so, so careful, like really over jumping. There was one jump, he was so over jumped. I don't really know why, because the last time he jumped was at the show. So usually they jump a little bit worse after a show, just because it's not like schooling and you never ride your best at a show. Well, I don't anyway. Um, but yeah, I was very pleased. Um, also with the four bent, four strides on the bending line, the first few times it came up very short because it took me just too long to sit up after the water tray. But then I watched the video and I said, Holly, you need to cop yourself on. So then I sat up much quicker and we got the four strides very, very nicely. Um, so again, yeah, all learning. He has this huge Munga stride. He likes to land um, five meters away from the fence, which is great because he's scopy, but it's not so great when it's a very short distance. So it's just more things we have to work on. You know, he's, he's work in progress, but overall I was very happy with him. He's showing lots of talent anyway, that's for sure. Um, he's just come on leaps and bounds uh, since I backed him really. Uh, he used to be a really big wuss bag and now he's absolutely taken on fences like something else. So um, yeah. That is it for today. I'm gonna to leave the vlog at this because my battery is nearly gone on my phone, but I might do another video where I talk about my untacking routine, how I do stretches and everything like that, because I always stretch him after I ride, especially after jumping, just to keep him, his muscles nice and supple. So if you want to see that, then let me know. And yeah, I hope you enjoy the video. I will see you next time. Bye guys. You ready for some food, Cal? Ready for your din dins? <laughs>